Hello everyone, welcome back to the .NET office. In this video, we are going to discuss about the router outlet and router link in Angular 15. In the previous video, where we discussed about the routing and we have seen how routing works in Angular application. So now in this video, we will see like how basically routing is implemented in the Angular 15 application. So for, to implement the routing in Angular application, we use the router outlet and router link. So these two part we have to do. So first let's understand what is the router outlet. So router outlet is just like a placeholder in an application. Now for an example, we have a HTML application. In that we have the header and the footer. In between the header and footer, the middle part is basically every time change when we go on the different pages. So that is the basically kind of a placeholder like it changes as per the page. So same thing happen in the Angular application also, but here we can achieve it through the router outlet. So this particular portion help us to replace or to the change the pages whenever we click on any link or the button or the tab. So this part we have to write in a page. So that in a bit we will see what is like how we implement it. Now the next thing is router link. So now we know Angular is basically component based architecture. Now, if it is a component based architecture, then to communicate between the component or to going from one component to the another component, we use the router and how like basically we navigate, we navigate using the keyword called router link. Now, for an example, if I want to click on a particular link and when I click on that link, I want to communicate or I want to go to the another component, then this router link is basically contain that link name and this link is basically the name of that particular link so in a bit we will see this also so now let's go to the visual studio code and here you can see this app.routing.model.ts so this is the file so when we if you remember like when we created this angular 15 application in our part one so it asks us do you want to create the routing yes or no and that time we given the yes so that's why we can see this file here if you would given n or the no then it will not give this file to us and we have to create it manually and the another thing is like this enhancement like that uh, pop kind of a message like do you want to create this routing or not that was implemented in angular 8 if you were using uh, like uh, angular 7 or before the version of the angular 8 it would not create a routing module file itself like we have to create it by on till angular 7 but after the angular 8 it asks us do you want to create it or not so now in the angular 15 we have implemented it now here to communicate between the component what we have to do we have to give the route path so by default we have given already for the student component and we know like to create the component we have the command called ng gc and the component so that we have to give here so we already have given path for the student same like we have another component called teacher so when I click on the student, it should go to the student component. When I click on the teacher, it should go on the teacher component. So one path we or the route we have created for the student, let's same do for the teacher as well. So we have to give the comma and here path name, we can give anything as per our requirement. So let here I've given the teacher component. So that is the first task. Like we have to give the all the path here. Now next thing what we have to do, we have to go to the HTML. And here we have to assign like a this is the hyperlink and I'm saying it is a student and inside this one now we have to give the in big bracket router link because as I told you through the router link only we can communicate now inside this big bracket and then we have to give the single and then uh, this single quote and then slash and here we have to give the the path name so it is this path name is basically this path name only so this student is that now let's do the same thing for the teacher so teacher i have given here let's change it now let's save the changes go on the browser and here you will see okay let's uh, give the some difference so we can see so student is the teacher when i click on the student we can see it is net changing the url path if i click on the teacher but it is not printing anything and the reason is because we are still didn't implement router outlet so now router outlet 
now let's change save the changes let's go here and by default it is on the teacher that's why teacher works if i click on the student student box so this is the way like we can see we can we are navigating between the component and this particular thing is written in the html of the respective pages so in the teacher html it is written the teacher works in the student it is written the student box so that's why it is showing the respective data now another thing like if what if i want to uh, navigate to a particular page based on the button click so how you can do that one so for that one let's click a button like let's create a button and give this button name as a uh, go to pages this i am saying and now here we have to like attach a one event that is the click event and then we have to give the method name so what i am going to say i am going to say a dynamic router so this method uh, name i have given here now the next thing what we have to do we have to assign the th like this method we have to uh, implement now and to implement it like so like to implement it what we have to do let's save it first and it is giving the error and the reason is we didn't implement it so now to implement it let's go here app component of ts and here we implement it so let's implement and inside this one what we will see we will take the link name from there i am taking as a string like which page we want to go so this link name we have to take now if link name is equal to equal to student then where we will navigate we will navigate to the student page so how we'll do so that part is basically comes from the router so what i'm going to do in the constructor i'm taking private a uh, local variable and the type of this will be the router so through this router is basically exist an angular router so now through this router only we can navigate and to navigate this one what we have to do we have to write this dot router dot navigate and uh, inside this one again we have to give like student so this is the way and one more thing what we have to do we have to give the slash so this part we have to do now same thing we can do for the else and that is for the teacher basically so let's copy it and give it here teacher so this part we have save it now next thing what we have to do we have to assign here so now here what i'm going to do i'm going to give the student now let's see what is the error and it is saying okay so we have to give in the uh, like to pass the data what we have to do we, we have to pass it in, in the string format so now for that one let's do this part so let's give in this code and we can see this successfully let's go in the browser and click on go to page so currently i have given the student and the vr page on the teacher so if i will click we can see it is going on the student page if i click on teacher again if i go click on go to page we are going to the student page so this is the way basically we navigate between the component or either through the router link or through the uh, like router.navigate method so this is the way of implementing the router outlet and router link in the angular 50 application so and another way like uh, this is the uh, like uh, the server side basically like uh, in the component side we implement in this way and if you want to create a routing using the command then this is the command ng g module and app routing so module is basically we have to give an app routing then we have to give this path and flat is basically we know like it is used to uh, like uh, create any file under this uh, root folder so that is about the routing in angular 15 so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you